Hello, everybody. Welcome back to Lone Star Trucking. It's been a very long time since we were here in Lone Star Trucking. Uh, maybe at the beginning of the year. I can't even remember. Today we have traveled to... Where are we at? We're in Texarkana, Arkansas. Let's get rid of this because we don't need this. Uh, we're in Texarkana, Arkansas. We started... I picked up this job. We're doing something out of here. And we're going up to Fort Smith, Arkansas, which is about 200 miles. Let's check that out real fast. Let's see what we got. We have... Home accessories from Texarkana to Fort Smith. It's going to pay us about $6,000. So we are going to get on the road and we're going to get this job going. So we've already got the load on. So let's just get out of here and get going. Let's take off that parking brake. Alright, hopefully everybody's having a great day today, and uh, I know this video was supposed to actually come out yesterday, but got busy and all that stuff. You know how it, you know how it is. So we are going to be turning left up here. A rainy Texarkana, Arkansas. Turn left. Alright, let's check to see if there's anybody coming here. It's been very weird. Like, there's no traffic in in this uh, in the new Arkansas DLC. Get up here. All right. Let's make sure that we have traffic on. All right. Made sure we got traffic on. Uh, that's the developer tools. If you've never used it, you can turn on developer tools and then you just hit the tilde and it was... Tra yeah. See, I had traffic turned off. I think that was my problem. Keep left. A lot of times I turn off... Uh, when I host Convoy, sometimes I turn off the traffic. So that was probably the issue there. Turn left. But we got the traffic on now. Again, hopefully everybody is having a wonderful day, wonderful morning, whatever your time zone happens to be here. Uh, man, come on, light. We are coming up on our four-year anniversary for the More Freedom Trucking Convoy. I believe it is October 10th is when the More Freedom Trucking Convoy took off. So I'm looking forward to that. We're probably going to be doing something special for that on the day of or whatever, whatever day that is. Oh, so speed limit is 65. We're not even up to 55 yet. Looks like the rain's finally stopping. Which is great, because my truck skidded everywhere a little bit ago before I started recording. So that wasn't awesome. So as is the case with this version of American Truck Sim that I play here in Lone Star Trucking. Um, things to note. Oh. Keep right, and then exit right. Exit right. I'm exiting, I'm exiting. We're going. I think this is the only way I can go, right? Like I can't I can't go straight there. So keep right and then turn right. Anyway, as I was saying, with this 
with Lone Star Trucking, we are starting from the ground up, and we are getting our trucking company going. We're currently level 12 in that and um, working, just working through getting our trucking company going. We have our first semi, which is the one I'm driving right now, cab over, K100. And it's got a Detroit diesel in it. Welcome to Arkansas. And I think our next... I'm trying to remember what our goals were, what our goals are going to be for this season of Lone Star Trucking for the next 10 weeks. I believe we're going to try to get at least one more driver and possibly... Oh, am I not in gear here? There we go. Uh, we're going to be working on getting one more driver. And... Sorry, I'm trying to drive and, and think at the same time. Yeah, so goals for the season. Uh, we're going to work on getting our first trailer and our first driver and getting them a truck. So that's going to cost us a lot of money. We've got to make that money. We've got to make money to make money, you know. So we didn't, we didn't, uh, we bought this truck outright. We didn't take out a loan for it. So any of the, we're currently just making profit off of all of that. So that's the goals here. And we're just going to cruise along. I like to see, because I don't have a... I like to see how far we have to go, you know what I mean? I'll keep that up on the screen for you right there. I used to use the Truckee app, and with the Truckee app I had like all the information up in the upper right hand corner, and when I redid my computer just recently, because I was having some technical issues, when I redid my computer I didn't reinstall Truckee. Um, just trying to make sure that things run smoothly and I wasn't sure that that was the issue but wow there we go okay thanks for that guys almost had an accident there Yeah, so reinstallation, I didn't reinstall the Truckee app. And uh, a few other things that I just didn't reinstall. I didn't, you know, like for streaming stuff, I didn't do some stuff for streaming. But, uh, yeah, so. Go straight. For Lone Star Trucking. I like to play everything pretty legit. The one things that I don't turn on for Lone Star, I don't turn on the fines and everything because I find, no pun intended, I find that the fines are pretty ridiculous in this game. Uh, you're not going to get pulled over and given a ticket for going three over. You know, you're not going to get pulled over and given a ticket for going five over. Um, 
you're not going to get a you're not going to get a give you're not going to be given a ticket because your headlights aren't on soon enough things like that so those are all turned off for me i play it as legit as i can i do the speed limit within five miles an hour and you know drive like a, a normal human being So that's what we do in this game, uh, in this profile, which is not to be said for our more freedom convoys. They're a little bit more uh, crazy is what I would say. Crazy, a little bit more crazy. And they're fun, though. They're meant to be crazy. They're meant to be fun. As you can see, we've got about 5,800 miles on this semi. Actually, almost 5,900. What? 5,900 by the end of this load. So, 5,900 miles is what we have on it. Go straight. Well, welcome back. Uh, we had a game crash there. So, that was great. But we're back. And hopefully we don't have any more of those. I don't even remember what we were talking about. Uh, I believe I was talking about, you know, just playing this legit and, and the more freedom convoys. It's a little bit more fun, relaxed, lots of speeding, crashing, mayhem, shenanigan, shenanigans, all of that stuff. So, so we're going to put that back in there and we're going to go to the high gear. So, yeah. Hopefully we don't experience lots of crashes. Uh, my worry was, and I've had this worry with this game for a little bit, was that it will... When I, when I close the game, sometimes it crashes my computer. And... Not awesome. You know what I mean? Also probably should pay attention. I always run with the Jake break on because I like the sound of it. I know that's not legitimate as far as probably how it's done in real life. That's just how I drive, you know what I mean? Like, I think our speed limit is 55. So we're going to stay right around 55 to 60 miles an hour. too bad that it's dark and not light right now in the game. I feel like I'm always getting stuck in, in, when I do these videos. I'm getting stuck at night and I don't know. I'll, I'll remember next time to change the time. I pretend sleep. So, like, sleep fatigue is also turned off here because a lot of times the route that I'm technically sleeping between and I just don't need to have the um, fatigue turned on. So, that is one thing that is also turned off in game. But hey, we're making pretty good time here. safe, under control, hopefully. Yeah, we get the save on time bonus. I think that's a thing, the on time bonus. In my more freedom trucking profile, I worry about painting roads and all that stuff over there. I know that in this one, I'm not going to get all those roads painted and whatnot. So I, I don't quite worry about it as much over here as I do in the more freedom trucking profile. 
which is the same profile I've been using for four years. And I think whenever they come out with a new state, I'm still at like 79 or 80 percent. So it's at mid 70s, maybe. Also do mention that, you know, like both of my profiles are legitimate when it comes right. to trucking. This one and the more freedom trucking. So I don't add money to either one. It's just been a building up of money over the last four years. My semi over there, like this one has almost 6,000 miles on it. That one over there has... I think 238,000 miles on it. I don't know if we'll get up to speed all the way. Yeah, we'll get up to speed all the way before uh, we get to get to our drop point. Just coming up here, 30 miles. So this will be our Wednesday game for the next 10 weeks and just doing some trucking, having, you know, just chilling, basically. I'm not sure what this is. We're going to slow down. Get over a little bit. Yep. Want to get away from that. Oh, goodness. We got a detour. Oh, goodness. That is one thing that is on in this profile is... I don't need to stop at that way station. I can bypass that. Uh, that's one thing that is on in this profile is road hazards. So, there you go. We went from 30 miles to 116 miles. Now, can I... I cannot... This is not a, a road that I can take here. I can't swing back around here. So we're probably going up like 75 miles or so. Which is crazy. I'm not exactly sure what the speed limit is right now. We're going 70. It is 70, so that's good. Are we going all the way to Little Rock here? Well, we're going to keep going, I guess. I mean, that's all we can do, right? Can't stop now. Oh, it looks like our exit's coming up here, so that's good. That's not terrible. Keep right, and then exit right. It's like a lot of people are exit getting off right. for this exit.
turn left. Turn left. I have no idea if there's a median right there. So I don't want to... hit that. Probably a little too fast on that turn. If you are wondering, I do use a shifter, not one of those fancy ones that connects to my shifter where I have the high low range, but I am using my G9, 29, I don't know, the PlayStation version of the G29. I could, I don't remember. Anyway, that's what I'm using. And I have the, obviously the pedals and the shifter that came I bought the shifter as well. Sorry, can't think. Um, anyway, that's what I'm using, and we are going a little fast. That's okay. So I do. I use the paddle shifters on the back to switch between high and low range, and all of that, and split the gears and all of that. So I don't use the automatic. I use an actual, the actual shifter. It's a lot of fun. Like once you figure out, I gotta pull into the way station. Keep left. I will say that. I I will say that this part of the game is probably unrealistic. Having traveled a lot of miles in the U.S., I've never seen a time when one of these was open at midnight like it is in-game right now. All right. Yeah, I've never seen one of these open at midnight in real life. And out of the thousands, of, tens of thousands of miles that I've driven, I you know, hundreds of thousands of miles that I've driven in my lifetime, I may have seen... Why are we stopping to get on the highway here, dude? Okay, well that's unrealistic. So we're just going around him. Keep left. He can just be in that lane and just, you know, dilly dallying. Anyway, so having driven hundreds of thousands of miles in this country, I can count on one hand the number of way stations I've ever seen open. So you'll pass a way station when you're going into or leave. A lot of times it's going into or leaving a state. Uh, you'll pass the, the way station. And they might be in other places, but that's where I generally remember seeing them. And the majority of the time they're closed. Right. Then exit right. All right. Well, hopefully this time exit we should be right. good. I've got a, I've got a, I got a light. I'm 
way down on power. I should have been down in like third or fourth. Hey, Texas Roadhouse. There's a lot of Texas Roadhouses in this in this game now. Oh, good. No gate here. Here we are. Kind of on time. I think we're pretty on time, dude. I think we're pretty on time. Well, we'll see here. We'll back up just a hair. Because we got to swing it out here and then bring it back. Yeah, there's no way we can do that. Uh, we're just going to leave it here. That's what we're going to do. Hey, we're getting closer to level 13. All right. Well, that's going to do it for this episode. We actually, instead of 200 miles, we added another 100 miles onto our trip. So 300 miles total, 6 hours and 55 minutes. 63 gallons of fuel and we made is $6,200. So we're on our way. Uh, we'll continue to make that money over the course of this season and see what we can get in the next 10 episodes. So, hey, appreciate you coming and hanging out. And until next time, take care. <laughs>